The Dolphins have struck a deal with wide receiver Odell Beckham Jr., sealing a one-year contract worth $300 million, with incentives pushing it up to $8.25 million. It's great news for him, finding a spot alongside Tua Tagovailoa, a quarterback known for his precision passes. Personally, I'm thrilled for OBJ. Having someone like Tua to throw him the ball is a game changer. And let's not forget about Tyreek Hill, who's like a human cheetah on the field. And Jalen Waddell, adding OBJ, a Super Bowl champion with a stellar career start, is a huge boost to the Dolphins' offense. Let's dive into what the Dolphins have been up to this offseason. They've not only aced free agency, but also made some smart picks in the draft. People might be sleeping on them, but they've strengthened both offense and defense. If they play up to their potential next season, other teams better watch out. The Dolphins could be a force to reckon with. But hey, before we dissect why I believe that, if you're into Dolphins content, hit subscribe below so you don't miss a beat this offseason. Now looking back at last season, the Dolphins made it to the playoffs but stumbled against the Kansas City Chiefs. It was a tough loss, um, especially considering the promising run they had during the season. Injuries might have played a part in their playoff exit, but overall, it was a solid effort from the team. Despite the setbacks from injuries last season, the Dolphins showed promise. Sure, they might have fallen slightly below expectations, but injuries can really throw a wrench into any team's plans. Just imagine if they had a few of those key players back in action. They'd have been a force to reckon with. But hey, that's in the past. Now let's talk about how they've leveled up this offseason. Let's kick things off with the offense. Seriously, with the recent addition of Odell Beckham Jr., it's hard to wrap your head around how stacked this lineup is becoming. Beckham might be 31, but he's still got that spark. Last season with the Ravens, he made waves, showcasing those jaw-dropping plays we all love to see. Sure, injuries have been a part of his journey, but he powered through most of last season, and I'm betting he'll bring that same fire to the Dolphins. Plus, let's not forget his experience. A Super Bowl champ and a playoff regular, he brings a winning mentality to a team eager to break through. Pair him up with Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddell, and you've got yourself one formidable receiving core. It's giving defenses nightmares just thinking about it. Let's talk strategy from a defensive standpoint. Facing the Dolphins' offense is like playing a game of pick your poison. You could try double-teaming Tyreek Hill, but then you're leaving Jalen Waddell and Odell Beckham Jr. in one-on-one -on -one matchups. Trust me, that's not a situation you want to be in. Both Waddle and OBJ are masters at creating separation, making life even easier for Tua Tagovailoa. But wait, there's more. The Dolphins didn't stop there. They also brought in Janu Smith during the offseason, adding another weapon to Tua's arsenal at tight end. Smith isn't just about catching passes. He's a solid blocker, too, making him a versatile threat in Mike McDaniel's playbook. And let's not forget the draft. The Dolphins snagged Malik Washington in the sixth round and Taj Washington in the seventh. Now, I know these guys were late round picks, but hear me out. Malik Washington is a steal, an electric playmaker waiting for his chance to shine. He might not see much action with OBJ around, but he's the perfect backup plan if needed. As for Taj, he might have been a seventh round pick, but don't sleep on him. He was Caleb Williams' go-to receiver in college, showing off his reliability and knack for making big plays. He might not have the flashiest athleticism, but his hands are like glue, and he's a beast after the catch. The Dolphins have options, and they're not afraid to use them. When you look at the Miami Dolphins' offensive weapons as a whole, they're nothing short of spectacular. In fact, I'd go as far as saying they're among the best, if not the best, in the entire NFL. Mike McDaniel, the offensive mastermind, must be rubbing his hands in excitement at the possibilities. But here's the thing, a potent passing game alone won't win you football games. 
you need a solid offensive line and a strong running game to complement it. And guess what? The Dolphins have that covered too. With veterans like Raheem Mostert leading the charge and explosive talents like Salvon Ahmed who broke out last season, the Dolphins' backfield is already formidable. And let's not forget about their fourth-round steal, Jalen Wright, a speedster out of Tennessee who's sure to add another dimension to their ground game. Expect McDaniel to rotate these backs strategically, keeping fresh legs on the field at all times. And there's more good news. The Dolphins didn't stop at skill players. They bolstered their offensive line by drafting Patrick Paul in the second round. Sure, he might not be the quickest guy around, but at 6 feet 7 inches and 3, 15 pounds, he's got the size and athleticism to hold his own against some of the league's toughest pass rushers. It's all about building depth and strength up front, and Paul is a step in the right direction. In a nutshell, the Dolphins' offense is shaping up to be a force to be reckoned with in 2024. With a star-studded receiving core, a dynamic backfield, and an improving offensive line, the sky's the limit for this team. Watch out, NFL. The Dolphins are coming for the crown. Protecting Tua has been a priority for the Dolphins, and rightly so. Past seasons have shown that a solid offensive line is crucial. But let's not forget, winning football games goes beyond just scoring points. Defense matters, too and the Dolphins have been making moves on that front. Sure, losing Christian Wilkins was tough. He's a stellar player, no doubt. But the Dolphins had to make some tough financial decisions, and they opted to part ways with him. Instead, they're putting their faith in Zach Steeler and bringing in a host of new faces like Jonathan Hankins and Tyler Tart to shore up the defensive line. If they can step up, this line could be formidable, especially with the likes of Shaquille Barrett, Bradley Chubb, and Jalen Phillips already in the mix. And let's talk about the draft. The Dolphins snagged Chubba Robinson in the first round, a powerhouse from Penn State. Sure, he's a bit rough around the edges, but with some polishing, he could become a force to be reckoned with on the edge. The potential is sky high. So while offense might get the glory, it's the defense that often wins championships. And with the Dolphins' revamped defensive line, they're gearing up for success on both sides of the ball. Watch out, NFL. The Dolphins are ready to make some noise. Let's talk about Chubba Robinson, a standout from Penn State. This guy's got one of the craziest first steps you'll see in this draft class. Watch the tape, and you'll see him bursting off the line play after play. And his ability to convert that speed into power it's a sight to behold. He's got offensive tackles backpedaling into next week with his sheer force. Sure, he could use a few more tricks up his sleeve, but with the Dolphins, he's poised to unleash his full potential. With Robinson in the mix, the Dolphins' defensive line is shaping up to be a force to be reckoned with. And let's not forget about the addition of Jordan Brooks. Aside from one unfortunate ACL injury, he's been a picture of health. At just 26, he brings a youthful energy and a ton of talent to the linebacking core. He's a game changer, plain and simple. Now let's shift our focus to the secondary. Losing Xavier Howard was a tough pill to swallow, but hey, sometimes tough decisions need to be made, and in his place steps Kendall Fuller, a solid replacement. Sure, he might not have Howard's flashy stats, but he's reliable and he brings stability to the cornerback position. Overall, the Dolphins have made some smart moves this offseason, beefing up their defense and setting themselves up for success. With Robinson wreaking havoc up front, Brooks patrolling the middle, and Fuller locking down the secondary, this defense is primed to make some noise in the league. Watch out, NFL. The Dolphins are coming for the crown. Let's talk about the Dolphins' secondary, where they've made some impressive moves. First up, Kendall Fuller. While he might not have the flashiest stats, he's a solid cornerback who brings stability to the position. 
Pair him with Jalen Ramsey, who showed his elite skills after returning from injury last season, and you've got a dynamic duo that's going to give opposing quarterbacks nightmares. And let's not forget about Xavier Howard, who's still a reliable third option in the cornerback rotation. Now, on to the safety room. Javon Holland played like a top three safety last season, and his partnership with Jordan Poyer is nothing short of stellar. Sure, Poyer might be getting up there in age, but his experience and skill make him a valuable asset. Together, they form a safety duo that's going to lock down the backfield. When you put it all together, the talented cornerback trio, the dynamic safety duo, and the formidable front seven, the Dolphins' defense has the potential to be one of the best in the NFL. And when you consider the firepower of their offense, it's clear that this team is a true contender. If I were facing off against the Dolphins, I'd be shaking in my cleats.